Last one for this standard 4MD5 recognized angles is geometric shapes and understand concepts of angle measurements. Again, after this, we are done with 4MD5. Bye-bye. Okay, which means that... Watch the previous four recordings, number six through nine, because I'm going to tie all this in to it. Let's go backwards. Select all that apply. Right away, this almost always means two answers. Okay? Keyword all. Super important. So let's highlight it. Going backwards. How many, how many, how many one degree turns has a minute hand made? Okay, let's underline the question. A student read the clock at 12 o'clock. Then she read it again at 1245. So, let's do a clock. And look, we have degrees and fractions. So remember with these, with this standard, it's always you need to know the circle split up into fractions. Notice how I drew the circle right away into force. Clock or fraction. Let's do fraction first. One fourth, one fourth, one fourth. One fourth. There's lots of ways to do this problem. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Notice how it has one fourth. So that would just be this. Three fourths. One, two, three. It'd be all of this. All right. Let's just wait. Let's go to. Ah, oh God. Oh, I could draw a circle better than that. Cover it. Let's go with it. Okay, here's a clock. 12 o'clock. All the way to... twelve forty-five. Okay. 45 minutes. Remember, it goes like this. Why? Every 15 minutes is a quarter. Okay. 60 divided by 4 equals 15 minutes. Wow. Look how that just works precisely to this setup. That is beautiful. Do you think that was by coincidence? Of course not. So check this out. One fourth, one fourth. Well, there's one fourth. Here's one fourth. Here's another one fourth. This is all the same as 45 minutes. See how those are exactly the same? So there's no way it's one fourth. One plus one plus one is three fourths. Answer. Okay. The other one that we need to do is degrees. Now, I remember from a previous lesson, I just memorized this. I know that six degrees equals one minute. Memorize, please. Because anytime you are doing a clock and you are looking at degrees, you will just take it times six. If you know the number of minutes. 12 to 12.45 is 45 minutes. So now I use my multiplication. 45 minutes times 6 degrees. Okay? We're going to find the number of degrees right now. 1's 10. 6 times 5 is 30. I carry the 3. Six times, I'm just doing standard algorithm. 6 times 4 is 24. 25, 26, 27. 270 degrees. 270 degrees. There it is. And if you just memorize the degrees or you know how to use the trusty protractor, right? 
90 degree, a 90 degree angle is this. Can we do it? We can do it. This is a 90, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's a 90 degree angle right there. See that? Let's move it down so you can see it. You start at zero. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's 90 degrees. By process of elimination, there is no way it's that. Look, here's your 90 degree angle right here. So you would need another 90 and another 90. 90 degrees times three, zero, 270 again. So you can do these problems a lot of different ways. If you just know how to use the protractor and you think, whoa, it's a lot of degrees. Or you whip out this one and you go from zero whoosh, to 270. Look at that. Right? Am I done with this protractor? Oh, I think I might be. See that? That's the same shape as that. Well, if we rotate it over. Right? There it is visually. All of it right there. Remember this spinner, you can spin it all the way around. And that's visually what's happening with these problems. Now, of course, on your assessment, you probably will not have it over four. It could be over six. It could be over eight. It could be over 10. But draw it out. Do equivalent fractions. Know the clock and how to use a protractor. Okay, so let's summarize. Our two answers are 270 degrees and three-fourths. Three-fourths of the circle is the same as 45 minutes, which is the same as 270 degrees. That's it. Bye-bye, Standard Form D5. We love you. Later.